for me, if you ask for my opinion, I think they are just, perhaps they just don't want to do their job. And everything I've said is directly, is directed at the minority side of parliament. Not both sides? No. Obviously, the MPP side see the, the need for them to get their jobs done. The reason in the, the in the next adjourned parliamentary sittings indefinitely is because he did not have the numbers to have a decision-making quorum. And that's because the MPP the side... Money? The MPP side had left the chamber to and their why offices. Why did they leave? They left because somebody chose to sit on their chair. Does it matter? And instead, chair you yes, sit it on is. In that's why, that is why they did. That's why they determined there's a minority, there's a majority side. So if you decide to become, as I said, become a kindergarten child and move from your seat and go and take your brother's seat, and your brother says, "I will fight with you," I mean, we are over as as the the, the majority leader said, uh, they are, he's not going to sit there and go and fight over chairs for his children. To see him on TV fighting over chess. I think they've learned, uh, the majority side learned a lesson from what happened in, in January 7, 2021, when the whole nation and every one of them was embarrassed by the actions there. And they decided that they were not going to mind them. So if the, who, who actually sent this memo? Is the, the, deputy, majority, the, deputy is the deputy majority chief. Majority chief would have sent the memo. There are legal processes that they have to pass. I think they have seven days. The speaker has seven days to either consider it or not consider it, and all those things. They should get it done and get their job done. When you said some of when us you began are, that Parliament should not major in the minors, mm -hmm. I appreciated that statement because they need to focus on important government business. And so, would you call deciding to vacate Parliament or leave the room because somebody has allegedly sat on your chair? So the why should, they, why should the majority there were many chairs in, the, in, in the house. On, 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 on the, the matter on side. who was majority and minority was still under contention. It's not under contention. It's not. There was a court order, a Supreme Court order that says that whatever the decision the the speaker had the speaker made, had made should be stayed. Should be stayed. Exactly. So when you come into Parliament, you go and sit at your space. So until that until that decision. Until until a determination is made on, is on made. that decision. But don't you so think why would you go and sit on somebody's chair? Don't you think it would have been prudent for them to wait for the speaker to come? Prudent or who said? To side? make a, for really on both parties, mm -hmm. for the speaker to come and make his determination. The speaker and could then, not have and made then they would have they would have found a way forward. The speaker could not have made a determination because whatever decision he had taken, the Supreme Court had put uh, a stay on it. So when you walked into parliament, you go and sit on your seats where you've been sitting for the past three years so that you go ahead with government business or parliamentary business. And then mm -hmm. when there's a decision by the Supreme Court and then the speaker can then make a decision on who sits where. But when you decide to go and sit on somebody's chair, you want the person to come and fight you, grown ass men, grown ass women to come and fight over chairs in parliament. So I think that the MPP took a good decision. The MPP so, decided to, to, leave to, the to just leave them and let them have the space to themselves. And you saw what they did. 